Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Sky High Sarah. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You asked, why do planes keep their fuel in the wing? Excellent question, because on the surface, that sounds like the kind of idea a five-year-old would draw in crayon. Just put the fuel in the wings, obviously. But as it turns out, there's a very good reason airplanes are basically flying gas cans. So buckle up, because we're about to wing it, literally, right here on Explaining Everything. All right, let's start with the biggest reason, balance. When a plane flies, it's not just about thrust and lift. It's a delicate balancing act between gravity, air resistance, and thousands of gallons of highly flammable go juice. The wings are where the plane's center of lift is. That's the spot where air pushing up on the wings keeps the plane in the air. So it makes perfect sense to keep the weight of the fuel, which can be over 100 tons on large jets, right near that lift point. If all that fuel were in the fuselage, the plane would become nose heavy or tail heavy as it burned fuel. Imagine trying to fly a seesaw. It's like trying to balance a bowling ball on a surfboard while it's moving. Not great for stability. By putting the fuel in the wings, the center of gravity stays consistent as fuel burns off, which means smoother handling, safer flight, and fewer oops moments for pilots. In other words, it keeps the plane from flying like a drunken pelican. Next up, space. The fuselage, the main body of the plane, is already packed tighter than a budget airline's legroom. You've got passengers, luggage, cargo, wiring, electronics, air conditioning systems, and that one guy who insists on fully reclining his seat on a one-hour flight. So, instead of squeezing massive fuel tanks into an already cramped cabin area, engineers realized the wings were perfect for the job. Wings are hollow. Strong on the outside, empty on the inside. Kind of like an overconfident croissant. That internal structure, called the wing box, is ideal for storing liquid fuel. It doesn't take up passenger space, and it actually helps make the wings stronger. Filling them with fuel gives the wings extra stiffness, reducing vibration and bending during flight. So not only do the wings hold the fuel, the fuel actually helps the wings do their job better. It's like putting weights in your backpack that somehow make you run faster. Now, let's talk about something every passenger cares about, not exploding. If you're going to carry tens of thousands of liters of jet fuel, you want it somewhere that's far from the people, protected from sparks, and strong enough to handle impact. Storing fuel in the wings checks all those boxes. The wings are built to withstand insane amounts of stress. Turbulence, pressure changes, lightning strikes, you name it. They're actually one of the strongest and most reinforced parts of the plane. Plus, in the extremely rare case of a crash landing or fuel leak, having the tanks in the wings instead of under the floor keeps the fuselage, where the passengers are, safer. The fuel lines can be isolated or shut off, and the wings act as a buffer zone. It's basically like putting the fireworks far away from the crowd. You still get the power, but with a lot less risk of sudden barbecue. Also, since jet fuel is stored out in the wings, the temperature differences between the inside and outside of the plane help regulate it. At cruising altitudes, 
where it's minus 50 degrees Celsius outside that helps keep the fuel from overheating. Engineers even circulate it through certain systems to cool down the engines or hydraulics. So the wings aren't just storage, they're part of the plane's cooling system too. Here's the final piece of the puzzle. Efficiency. Planes are designed to be as light and aerodynamic as possible. Long fuel lines running from tanks in the fuselage to the engines would mean extra weight, extra plumbing, and more things that can go wrong. By putting the fuel directly in the wings, right next to the engines, engineers can use shorter lines, simpler pumps, and reduce drag and weight. Less weight equals less fuel, burned equals less money spent. It also makes refueling simpler. On the ground, fuel trucks just pull up under the wings and hook directly into the tanks. The ground crew doesn't have to crawl into the belly of the plane or pump fuel through a maze of pipes. It's quick, efficient, and keeps turnaround time short, which airlines love almost as much as overbooking flights. So, why do planes keep their fuel in the wings? Because it's the perfect combination of balance, efficiency, safety, and smart engineering. It's one of those design choices that seems obvious in hindsight, but took decades of engineering genius to perfect. So next time you're on a plane, sitting by the window, staring at those wings, just remember, you're looking at one of the most cleverly designed parts of the entire aircraft. And also a really, really big fuel tank. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and that's how planes literally get their wings and their gas. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.